In this video, I'm going to explain why creationists are smarter than evolutionists. Yes, that's I'm going to show that in this video. Uh, of course, I apologize for my voice. I'm getting over a cold, and I may cough horribly once in a while. I'm going to try to pause it when I do that so you don't have to hear it. I am taking medication for it. But of course, when I was in college, I got a degree in molecular biology. This is where I got my bachelor's degree. I graduated at, I will say, the second best university in Florida. Because University of Florida is number one. The one I graduated from is number two. I'll let you figure it out. It's University of South Florida. What the heck? Who cares? I graduated from USF. The best college I can think of. It was a good college. I enjoyed it. It's a research institution. But, of course, I had to take a lot of biochemistry, a lot of genetics, and, of course, I also did some evolutionary biology. So I am qualified to make this video. I had to take all, and, of course, in biology, there's a lot of subdisciplines. If you're going to get a Ph.D. in, for example, any program, in any subject like biology, for example, example you have to specialize in certain, in, you know, in biology because there's so many fields of biology, so many fields of chemistry, physics, astronomy, geology, and all these other sciences, you know, history and all that stuff. And yeah, history can be considered a science, at least in my opinion. But anyways, one second. But anyways, I'll get back to, I will explain to you how creationists are smart and evolutionists, but let me you know, do a little bit more background. I had to take all these courses. This is just a small sample of classes I had to take. I had to take, you know, sociology, psychology, and a whole bunch of other, you know, ecology, personal development, and chronology, and all this other stuff. I had to take so many classes. Histology, it's unreal. And, you know, geology, earth science, and astronomy, I did it mainly to educate myself. These are very basic books. Plus, I did teach earth science in high school wasn't fun I would never do it again uh, but anyways you know if you want to specialize in you know any of these subjects you know you have to you take let's just say it takes a whole long time the MCAT for example I'm trying to go into medical school because I believe I'm doing well on these ex practice exams and everything so hopefully I should get through it I know the material I always wanted to be a physician I've been shadowing and all that stuff but anyways let's get back to it why would I say that a creationist is smarter than an evolutionist? That just doesn't sound right. Well, I'll explain, and you will understand. Say, do a face palm and say, yeah, you're right. They are smarter than us. Now, you have to realize that whenever a creationist debates someone, one second, let me just pause this. I'm going to grab a book real quick because I, I just want to use a creationist book as an example. Now, as you can see, for example, this guy, Jonathan Seferati, the greatest, show, greatest hoax on Earth, and Darwin's Doubt. This guy, Stephen Meyer. You know, no science, real science background or any of this stuff, right? I took all these years of science classes, and yet these guys have mastered it. I mean, they ain't gonna, they measure. Have you seen some of these creationists? They know geology, astronomy, physics, biochemistry, cell biology, organic chemistry, general chemistry, animal physiology. All of that when they're debating. When they debate a biologist, they'll bring up geology and astronomy. And of course, the biologist can't answer it. They're stumped. <clears throat> they'll bring up, you know, to a physicist, biology or or Ge or geology or, or something. And the physicist is stumped. Have you ever noticed that? But they know everything. I mean, look at these guys. No science background at all. This guy, I believe, has a degree in chemistry, maybe. But I don't think he's ever actually done anything but taught in Bible college. I mean, well, these Bible colleges must be uh, turning out geniuses. I mean, they mastered evolutionary biology. Look at this class. I had to take it. I didn't have to take it, but I did. It's a very fun course. But these guys have mastered all of this. Just think. One second. This book here, they call the Holy Bible. It has all the science, all that you can think of, already in it. 
think about it. It tells you everything about how the Earth orbits the Sun and how it was formed, how the ocean currents function, all this stuff. No way those people back then could have figured it out on their own using science. I mean, they these people know everything. This book is the perfect Word of God. It's inerrant, historically accurate, and scientifically accurate. It's non-contradictory for cover to cover. It is perfect. I mean, when I was a Christian, I mean, I was so shocked by how accurate their prophecies and all this stuff. You know, prayer. Oh, wow, you pray for something, and as long as you know you, you're right with God, your prayer is answered. It is answered. You know, like for example, you have an exam and you get sick and you pray to God, please, please don't let this illness, even if you, if it's not your will to take away, please don't let it affect me when I take this exam. And then you take the exam and guess what? You fail the exam. That's how great God is. That's how great prayer is. I mean, these evolutionists, these creationists are smarter than evolutionists. They did not have to go to college to learn all this stuff. They just simply read this book and has all the answers. Yeah, you may say they're getting the science after the fact, but so what? They're getting it. They're debating these biologists, and physicists, and all these people, and they are standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and winning these debates. They know everything. Have you noticed that? Sorry guys, but creationists are smarter than evolutionists. Sorry about that. Now what is an evolutionist and what is a creationist? An evolutionist, simply put, is someone who accepts science, accepts reality, accepts logic, accepts facts, accepts critical thinking. What's a creationist? Is basically a person who, opposite of all that, does not accept, accept science does not accept logic or critical thinking. They just simply accept the Holy Bible and they believe, of course, the story of creation. You know, Genesis. Well, I can't get to Genesis, but who gives us not, right? Who cares? But Genesis, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read from it. Don't worry about that. You evil, evil evolutionists so scared of me reading the Bible. I bet some of you are nuts... Almost went through your scrotum. But anyways. Wow, they are smart. They are geniuses. They figured all this out without going to college or going to a real college, I should say. You know, I had a... You know how hard... How hard it was to go through this stuff. I mean, this physics. I spent hours and hours studying it. And all I had to do was read this book. And I'm not ashamed to admit... Biochemistry was was my favorite class. It was, but it was hard too. Physics was so hard it kicked my butt that I had to take it twice. Twice I had to take physics. And yet these people have figured it out instantly. They're so freaking smart. They're smart, 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 smart. I mean, think about it. I mean, look at this guy. He's writing the greatest... This hoax on Earth, which is, of course, against Richard Dawkins, the greatest show on Earth. I mean, think about it. This guy knows no biology, and he's able to go toe to toe with Richard Dawkins. He's making, if you read this book, he's making Richard Dawkins look like an idiot. I mean, dang, come, these people are smart. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, because I could just keep going on and on, and I don't want to make you evolutionists feel too bad. But, well... Hope you like. Please like, subscribe, and everything. Sorry about the quality of this video. I have to use a cell phone for this one. Uh, thanks.